Chanel is one of the top fashion powerhouses in the world and to celebrate their artistry, they put on the Metiers de Art, one of the biggest fashion events in the world. Last year, Chanel had their catwalk event under the hot sun in Senegal, but this year have instead opted for the murky Manchester sky. The event is being held on Thomas Street in Manchester. To protect superstar models from the wet Manchester sky, a huge roof has been under construction for the last three weeks. If I can say much more than what the man can, like Manchester News has already said, because they're like, oh, you know, this top secret fashion show, and they've just, you know, it's reached like thousands of people up and down the country on social media. So, um, yeah, I don't really know what the plan is for like Thursday and stuff, but um, yeah, we're just here every day leading up to it and after, just literally setting everything up and then taking it down. This world class fashion show might seem like an exciting prospect to most, but for many, it's causing a diversion to brunch. Me and my friends really like going wolf at the door and we can't go to that at some, any point, which now. is quite annoying. Yeah, because I had no idea it was happening. Like, I didn't feel like it wasn't really a... Is that literally just told you yeah, that? And I was five like, minutes ago. Yeah, I was like walking and I wanted to walk down there, but I had to go all the other way and I was just like, what's going on? The businesses on Thomas Street will be required to shut for the show, but Chanel are subsidising them with 48 grand for the week. Many think that this is great for the local economy. I think it's really good for Manchester. I think it's really good. It just shows how it's developing as a really good like staple in the country. It's really become capital of the north and I just really love, uh, love the fact that it's here. I think it's a really good thing for the local economy. One local business owner who did not want to appear on camera states that they don't believe Chanel have been considerate of suppliers and other small businesses. Um, this business is connected to the one next door and I wouldn't say that this one has felt any negative effect because we don't deliver. But the business that we're connected to has definitely been inconvenienced by it, yeah. I mean, it's not against the show exactly. I think that they can do that if they want to. But maybe they could have been a bit further reaching with their consideration for local people that are going to be affected. Um, yeah, I know quite a few people are excited about it, but don't know too many locals that have managed to snag tickets. Jay Billington, Salford Keys News.